Is this thing on? Hello everybody and welcome to another Infinity Evolve Skyblog on the Season Gamer server with me, Technojog. Just taking a run back over to the reactor area at the moment because I've had to fill it back up. Been running this thing pretty hard so just filled it up, had a few plutonium to make mocks um, and then the rest with the uranium and this is all kind of working really nicely at the moment. Just going to grab some more of this. Um, not like that though. And we'll make a few more rods to have sitting ready. Be a good idea to have as much ready as we can. So another full reactor full will do nicely for the moment. And let's tidy this up because I'm also making some different nuclear fuel. If you're looking at my NEI layout, you will see what I am planning. We need pellet RTG fuel just now, because our production of draconium is going really rather well. I'm wanting this mob grinder, and we're taking a big leap in our tech level. So this is going to need that pellet of RTG fuel. That's fine. The rest of it, pretty new stuff. We're going to need this primal mana dust, which we'll get to in a moment. We're going to need draconium block, which needs obviously draconium, and these wyvern core things. These wyvern core things, each of them need a nether star, flux electrum, vibrant alloy, thormium, and mana steel, so sort of tier 2 metals, if you will. The draconic cores need more draconium, gold, and diamonds. And of course you need four each for these, and we're going to need a bunch of that, and in here you will see we also need more of these. We're going to need another two of the wyvern cores for these blocks of draconium. We're going to need two wyvern cores there, and this wyvern energy core is a wyvern core with destabilized redstone poured over the top. 7.2 buckets of the stuff, so it's pretty beefy. We're going to need to get some emerald ore, more of this mana dust stuff, and an etheric sword. We can do that, that's fine. Uh, we should manage. We've made a block of uh, unstable ingots, making a sword with two ingots should be fine. Mana dust is funny stuff. We need this pure mana. And to get this stuff, we're going to need to get pulverized mana-infused metal and primal mana liquid. Primal mana liquid is made with draconium, two ingots thereof, and a bucket of liquid XP. So... Um, I'm going to need to keep this suit on because I've got the pellet of RTG fuel on me right now. And we will go over here and drop this off. Don't need the jetpack just now for anything, I don't think. So we can just continue on our merry way. Uh, so I'm going to pop this in here, I think. Yep, that should be fine in there. So I think I've got... I've got some more of this stuff here. Gonna take it over and put it in here. Um, and that will happily go through there. We've actually got a fair bit of draconium ore. I've been using this ore smasher to place it down and do it. Like that. It's pretty cool. You just right click with it and it automatically uses the broken ore to to do this stuff and as you saw it will do the sand version as well so been doing that quite a bit to get all this stuff let's just get as much of this as we can that's that and we've actually got enough for a full lot of that now this is different because you actually need to put this lot down as well um, it doesn't double with the ores, and there's only a chance, an 80% chance, I believe, of getting this stuff. If we have a look, this stuff, um, the grindstone, no, yeah, this stuff, there's an 80% chance and a 10% chance of getting it the second one so and it says plus a 10 percent luck bonus so i'm not quite sure if that's per level of fortune or what so yeah so we've got this it's going there's no way of ore doubling this unfortunately so we'll just go and do this just now i must get around getting fortune on this see we've only got 14 draconium there just now but this thing is going and it is doing its thing 
Um, but I had done an awful lot in between episodes to get up to this point. So we've actually got draconic cores. So we've gone and done one bit of that just now. In fact, I've done slightly too many because I only needed six. So we've got that going. So I'm going to grab two. Yeah, if we do this, we can see we need one for this. And then we need one, two, three, four, five. Maybe we only need five then. Okay, we only need five, not six. Who would have thunk my maths is rubbish? Okay, so I've actually used a bit more draconium here than I strictly needed to. Um, now, I do need to smelt this stuff up because we're out of the actual ingots, which wouldn't have been an issue if I hadn't miscounted, but never mind. So we need one draconium block there and a further two draconium blocks there. So I need three of these, so um, not quite enough draconium quite yet. Let's... Uh, Pop this in here, that'll smelt down. Um, yeah, we've got ingots there coming through. Perfect. That's looking good. So the next bit is the mana dust. So as I said, pure mana, um, or you can make individual dusts like that. Um, there's no ingot form of this. Um, but what we need to do to get the pure mana is you need this mana infused block now mithril we don't have uh, apparently there's a way of doing this myth yeah okay so really the way of doing this is you get yourself um silver ore where is it do i have silver in here i do not have silver in here Let's get ourselves a silver ingot. I just need the one at the moment. Um, and the thing about this is, well, it has to be a thermal foundation one. Or thermal expansion. So that one for thermal foundation. So you just chisel it like that and it come, becomes um, the version that you want. So that's fine. So you've got all the different kinds you've got project red immersive engineering thermal foundation is the one that we want so that is what we want then what you want to do is you need to make some of the primal mana stuff that they're talking about here so um you need to get liquid xp into your smeltery and some draconium so if we get some draconium from here um i'm gonna some of that in there. I'm going to keep. I'll need to keep some on me anyway. Um, so, yeah, I've actually got some primal mana in here. Um, but if you melt down two of these and then get yourself a bucket of liquid XP. Now, what I have done to get my liquid XP is I made some of these liquid, uh, these tanks here from open blocks with a drain on the top. So, if we have a look at. Well, we've done the tanks before, those are just the um, four bits of obsidian with glass panes. And you get two of those tanks, so that's why I've got two of those. And then you use the drain thing, which is just simply iron bars in a 3x3 three three like that. Put that on top, stand on top of it. You'll see my levels go down and the level of the liquid in there goes up. Looks very cool like it. That's by far and away the easiest way to do it. So I do have a method of getting liquids into this on the side. There's another smeltery drain there that I've got this set up to with just a, a fluid conduit and we can put that in there and it's set to output into there and you can see the liquid goes in and appears in here. So there we go. One bucket of that and two of these draconium ingots which should be melted up gives us this primal mana stuff. So that's that smelted down, and as you can see, it has now made nearly a full bucket of this primal mana stuff. I've already made a bucket full of primal mana and taken it over here, and I'll show you why. I've um, got this little setup here. I've just got um, some of these cobblestone strips holding the liquid in place so it doesn't go anywhere. This is the source block here, and it's flowing into this block. 
And if we take our silver block here, pop it there, you'll see it catches fire, but it's also changed colour because it's now a mana-infused block. So this primal mana infuses this. And we can mine this up again quite slowly. Here we go. And this mana-infused block now, we can make into mana-infused ingots, take it over to our pulverizer, and fire it into here. And you'll see I've actually already got a bunch of this stuff made up. So we're going to take these mana-infused metal uh, dusts, and we're going to take some of this stuff and we're going to put it in there, and we're going to pour this stuff over the top, and we'll see how much we get out of it. I think we're going to need some more mana in there, because it takes a little bit more than what we've got, but you can see mana dust. Perfect! Thought I heard somebody next to me there. So, we need... Let's get rid of all this rubbish here. We need four for that and then further two. So we need six in total. So we've got absolutely loads of this stuff. But we will probably need it going forward. And oh, we've just run out. So we need a fair bit more in there. So I think what I'll do is I'll put those four in there. Because um, it does take a little while to uh, to do this stuff up. Let's grab another couple of buckets of this stuff. And pour that in as well. We'll do that. Um, so that's going to be there. That's going to melt down eventually. How's this thing doing? It is doing. Um, we need to smash this stuff down again. And yet again. Smash it down. And we get the one. So we're going to need a little bit more draconium, uh, probably for that, and this over here. So we need a third one of these, don't we? So the draconium blocks. But that's looking good at the moment, so that gives us the one for that. In fact, let's do it this way. We need Wyvern Energy Core as well, and we need... Emerald ore. That's what we need. So we'll need one stone and one block of emerald. Well, we can do that right in this moment. One, two, three. For the block of emerald and one bit of stone. We'll leave that as it is. We'll come over here and we'll make a block of emerald. And our induction smelter there. Like that. And we'll get that. We've got the two wyvern core. We've got two mana dust, we need to make an etheric sword, and this woven energy core. So we need seven, 72 redstone. Okay. Well, that's 64, so we need another 8. Like that. And um, we'll bung that that in there. Wow, that's very quick now. The energy can't even keep up with it. It's so quick. Um, and we need a tank to put that into. And that will be quite a big tank that we need for that. So another one of those portable ones, if I do it up. Do I have a portable tank? No, I don't have any sort of portable tank. Of course I don't. Um, let's get one bit of copper, four bits of glass. make another portable tank up and we if we've got any invar I'll take that yes I do I've got four bits of invar so how many does this contain now 32 buckets but we need a bit more than that and um, can we upgrade again we should have plenty of fused quartz yeah we've got an abundance of fused quartz Let's do that one more time and get the... Is it reinforced? Yep. And that one does 120 buckets, so that will be plenty. Uh, let's take the... Gl
cool loose stone stuffy off of there. Oops. Put that on there. We will output to the top. Is that not? Yeah, that should be going at the top. Why is it not going at the top? Really? Okay. Well, we can, of course, do it this way. If it's going to appear in my inventory. Thank you. I don't know why I didn't think about doing it that way anyway. That's almost instantaneous. Oh, it's only 7.2 buckets, not 72 buckets. Oh my god. You guys must be shouting at me. Go on. Techno, what are you doing? You're making a far bigger tank than you need to. You plum plonker. Yeah. Yeah. Right, that's also melted down. One of these days, eh? One of these days. Let's take one of our Wyvern cores, put it there, redstone, let's watch this go, so yeah, bunch of redstone. When I first made one of these I couldn't believe how much it took. It's doing its business. That's be doing its business. And um, yeah, we're looking good at the moment. Let's get one, two of those. One, two of those. One of those. And let's get that our division sigil. Let's do this now and let's try not to kill ourselves. Where's the obsidian? The obsidian's there. Excellent. So, boom, 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 boom. Really not a time for there to be a little bit of server lag, but nonetheless we have done it. That's that done. Put this away because we don't need it. I'll put that away as well actually because we don't need that. That. All looking good, that can go back in there. We are looking relatively in order now. What else? So our ore should be made. We've got our two draconium there. We've got wyvern core there that we need. That's that for that. Uh, two mana dust. Excellent. We are all... Did I really? Maybe I did need that one. Okay, we'll just do that. We're going to need them anyway, so we need that and that. This should be done by now. Yes, it is. That's good. Primal mana. I still need some more of that. That's not going to be enough, but we're out of draconium at the moment. So I need to sort that out. And that goes there. And we've got one sword of the Wyvern. I really must make one of these as a, a normal weapon anyway. But we'll take that for the moment. And we'll put it here. So we need another block. And we need more of this stuff. So it's really... We need one more block and more of this stuff. So it is Draconium that we are waiting for. We don't have any more over here. That's Galgadorian stuff. That's all. Yep, we are just waiting on more Draconium. Now I think I'm going to need to make up some more of this stuff because, yeah, we're, we're running low. That does give us a little bit more there, though. Like that. And then a bit more like that that. Let's hammer this down. We should be able to. Then we're just going to go over here and go and put it straight in. Because this will melt down in there. That'll be fine. That's fine. So 
that should hopefully two lots of it. How much does it need to make one? One takes three hundred and sixty millibuckets, and you get two hundred and eighty-eight. So we'll need three lots of that. So we do need more draconium. Oh well. And the other thing I was going to do was take over a bunch more glowstone to here to make ourselves this lovely, lovely stuff. Let's put that in there. And we'll start getting some more of that, which we will need to take over. Really, um, we need to come back once we've got some more draconium, I think. Right, I'm back after quite some considerable length of time. It's actually been several days since I was last logged in because I'm just getting things ready about to go away on my holiday. Although I'll be long back by the time you see this. But uh, yeah, got loads of draconium now. So we can uh, quite easily finish what we need to. Let's break this up and we'll quickly get it. I only needed a few of this stuff, so... We only need a little bit before we're in a situation that we'll be able to get all of our draconium needs sorted out. Nearly done. Is that us? Yes it is. Now we need to do that and that and break it down again. One last time. This all should give us plenty. I think I only needed one more. It's been that long since I've been on, 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 I can't remember. But we are good to go. What I have done is I've gone ahead and set up the loot collection system up next to the wither spawner. Um, so we've got that sorted out and we now have a way of getting power up there as well. And now let's just go whack that. Let's keep one of these. Is that going to be... Ah. Uh, no. I've got no power. We should have some power. Did I leave something running downstairs? Uh, no. Why? Where is all my power going? Is it all going over there? It can't all be going over there. We should be getting some power over here. Let's just... Let's just break that. And that should charge up that a little bit quicker. We'll worry about that in just a second. In fact, hang on a minute. put that back up there. Power should not be an issue for us. I should actually have another star in here. Do I? Do I? I do not. Right. Okay. Let's get that sorted out. Um, that's not done that. Let's just... There should be power in one of these. Yep. Is that not going to do? Not going to do. Right. Why? Alloys only, furnace only. There we go. Right. That should give us what we need. We've got three there. Gives us our last draconium block that we needed for this. There we go. One mob grinder. Sorted. Brilliant. Now, let's go over here and get this set up. Now, I think... I need to place this from the other direction, but we've got a tesseract. Yeah, that needs to go from the other to side. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I'm not, it's not going to kill me. hope it's not going to kill me. Right. Yeah, I want to... I want to... Can I turn you? Can I turn it with this? No. Okay. I need then to... Unward that block. Yep. Get in there. And then 
place. That one. So it's going to be like that. There we go. Perfect. And then that can go in front of it. Like that. It be rewarded. Excellent. And our thingy bob there. Let's see how we're doing. That's fully powered. Let's go up here. Still haven't set this up to run at startup. But that's not a problem, right? Let's do that. Perfect, that's good. And now this should very quickly be deed. That's deed. There we go. I'll sort out something to do with the there. Perfect. Excellent. All working. So everything goes into its correct drawer. I don't have these set up. I will set them up with a void upgrade at some point. And then this will also be set up to go to a B space barrel or something like that. But now, fortunately, we can reboot all of our base a little bit. Like that. Boom, power coming in. Excellent, right. Power's no longer an issue. We have got all the system worked out. So B space barrel on there. Set up the program to run on startup. I'll need to get redstone, wireless redstone from that capacitor up to there, basically, to run that on a semi-regular basis, or we could just run that every time we possibly can, and then have a stockpile of never stars. Hmm. Choices, choices. Right, but I'll be doing that in between episodes and stuff anyway. That takes us up to a decent wrapping up point for this episode, I think. But we are now at almost at automatic withers, but we can certainly kill them without having to do anything. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Right, thanks very much for watching, people. I shall see you the next time. But until then, have a funs.